Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be diving into the Bitcoin chart together with you all going over this current move to the downside the next really important support and resistance levels that we just absolutely have to be aware of right now and what we are looking to trade into this week to come currently on Tuesday. Uh, I think this week is going to be really important obviously we've just rejected once again off the top of our higher term time frame channel so I'm going to be dissecting <laughs> all of that price action for you moving on to what's happening now and the next levels we are looking towards of the week to come. So if that sounds interesting, pay full attention and let's get into the educational part of the video, which I want to start off really quickly coming up from right off the last video. Obviously, in that last video, we were looking at the range, the range, the range, the range. That was really simply between that value area high, point of control and value area low. I just want to do a real quick recap of what actually happened on that because... I know some people, when they've used sideways price action, they're going to be like, oh, this is really boring price action. This is really choppy price action. You know, complaining about sideways price action. They want to see this type of move all the time. Of course, I am liking this move to the downside right now. But um, I just want to emphasize that it's really important that you can be making a lot of money when Bitcoin is going totally sideways within these ranges. OK, so you can see from the update that I gave uh, on the 5th of August, that was the last video that I made, So you cannot miss these targets because this is the range to be trading right now. Obviously, I just want to do a really quick recap of what actually happened within that. We can see price moving down and around. I was telling my team, I really like this local range here, where we obviously had that value area high, value area low, point of control in there. And you can see how this progressed throughout the day. Come back up to swing fair pattern, the high, back down to the point of control. From the point of control, we got a bounce up to the value area high. From the value area high, we come back down to that value area low. From that value area low, what happened next, ladies and gentlemen, we came back up to the value area high. From that value area high, what happened next, we came down to the point of control. From that point of control, we actually found support in the end, back up to the value area high. From that value area high, we actually saw the breakout. And where did we break out to? We broke out to the top of that higher term time frame channel that we've obviously been trading now for quite a while. So that kind of <laughs> talked you through very briefly what happened since the last video. I mean, that really gave you three, four really, really, really nice trades. Obviously, it ended in a final loss off the short of the value area high. But then we knew the next level to the upside. Well, actually, no, you, you knew the next level to the upside was 23,800. And this is what I said to my team. Like, this is why we place alerts because you actually went straight through 23,800. There was no short trade to be had. There was no resistance to be seen whatsoever. You went straight through the level. And the next level that we obviously had above it was the top of this channel. Come up on the four hour chart to just remind you this a second. But that was obviously from our um, overall range lows, overall range high. We've obviously rejected off it once, down to the lows, rejected off it twice pull back and then we rejected once again for a third time here. So I've talked you through, um, <laughs> I've talked you through, although it might not seem that exciting to you, this was a very exciting time for, for the day traders with inside this range. We broke the range to the upside up to our level of resistance where we found resistance and that brings us up to what happened this morning. And this morning, um, I actually came over and I looked at the charts and I want to share something very interesting with you all here. And that was when I came over to the charts, Okay, I, I was speaking to my team yesterday about this 23,800, you know, it's still a level. And it's still obviously that time while we were above it, a level of support. And what I had actually recognized this morning was, well, yeah, clearly prices rejected off of our channel high. We have now seen consolidation throughout the day or the night, depending on where you live. And we have then seen now a loss of this channel. So at the moment, at that time, we were trading 23,700. I'm thinking to myself, okay, we're really starting to see acceptance back below the value area low here. This is not a strong bounce. On top of that, we were seeing the bearish CVD divergences over on Bybit. And I really simply said to my team, although yes, we have rejected off the value area high, uh, the, the, the larger range, okay, I'm, I'm referring to this. We have rejected off the larger range. We've rejected off the value area high. And this you know, this consolidating at support here, to me, does not look strong. And so for my opinion was, although we are at our first support zone, there is no strong conviction in the support. I am personally not going to long this and I will wait for lower prices. Please check the timestamps on all of this. 2040, 2041. We're talking about two minutes later, by the way, two minutes later and the breakdown started to happen. So that's what I mean, getting alerts live in the time before the moves happened, you know, just getting in here, giving the update two minutes later. You'd have had to be quick with your alerts on my post on that one. Two minutes later, <laughs> CC pool coming in there and we saw the breakdown and this was where the breakdown started to pick up some steam. Obviously, now we're talking about 
a good 20 minutes later and we have definitely seen a larger pullback now starting to fill in those single prints oh my god very nice indeed okay and there's something that i want to note here before we move on to what is you know happening next i want to just note something for you because you know this was something you know, this is some sort of really interesting thing if you really learn I like trading. And while we were actually consolidating here at support per se, although I did note to my team, there's, this is not a strong support anymore. Like it's, it's not really looking strong. I'm not going to long this and I am looking for lower you know, before the drop. I wrote that to my team. But something that was really important for me to note to everybody was that Bybit actually had the bearish CVD divergences going on here. Okay, FTX had bullish CVD divergences and Binance had bullish CVD divergences. And this is why I love recording statistics. Okay, you have to recognize when there are discrepancies between, you know, the th you know, three top major exchanges. Okay, you can also look at OKX, you could look at BitMEX, but they're not so much major anymore. But, you know, when I'm looking at the differences on, on the uh, CVD divergences, you know, this is a statistic I've been tracking now for like a year and it is continuously... You know, obviously there's, there's, let's say you are looking at win rates because you obviously have to take everything in percentages. There's no way 100% it's always going to be accurate. Okay, but over the past year, Bybit has had an 83%, you know, win rate on its CVD divergences. Okay, this is much, much, much higher than FTX and Binance CVD divergences. And I'm not here to shill any sort of exchange. I'm just here to say, do your own research. And I've done my own research. And I can say, this is why I'm continuously looking at the three exchanges to record statistics. And then I trade off of the most accurate exchange, you know, because why would I not trade off the most accurate exchange? And this was just another example this morning. I mean, you can go and do this research yourself to make sure that what I'm saying here is the truth. But if you look at Bybit, you can look at FTX, you can look at Binance, and you would have seen, okay, before the drop, you were forming these really big bearish, well, I'm sorry, really big bullish CVD divergences, for example, on Binance, same on FTX. And then if you looked at Bybit, you would have seen it had bearish CVD divergences. And there you see, once again, Bybit CVD working out as we dropped. Okay. And so, yeah, this is just something to pay attention to. This is something that I pay attention to. This is something that I record statistics on. I take that very seriously, my statistics, because, well, it's what gives me an edge at the end of the day in trading. And that was something that really aided my decision in knowing not to long the support and waiting for lower prices. And once again, that played out exactly as predicted a few minutes later, getting that drop and definitely buy bits, CVD divergences there really did help me, to be honest with you. And so now what are we looking at next? Well, we've clearly got acceptance back into these single prints. If I just show you this a second, we are now back down into these row of single prints. Okay, coming down and actually, oh, you're actually filling the for, for all, filled all those single prints now. So we have now filled these single prints. So you get your first kind of minor level of support here, uh, bigger support. Well, we have a daily level here, twenty three three hundred. I'm not going to say this is a massive support level, but we obviously have a few minor levels here. We have the first one, we're filling these single prints. You know, you do get reactions off of here because people are scope trading this. Um, so filling the single prints, then you've got the daily and the bigger level back down there around 22800 So $22,800 to $23,000. You're a bit of a zone there of support, $22,800, $23,000. Minor levels of support that are notable, the daily and the filling of the single prints, which has happened currently. I mean, think about it. If you are a sculpt trader, you can see this is, you know, minor, 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 minor move. But you can at least understand why, you know, some people might say, why are we bouncing at this exact dollar? Well, if you come over and look at the single prints, you'll know why you're getting a, you know, a bounce per se off of the exact dollar here. Uh, nothing is really strong as of yet, but... I, again, I'll always tell you there's never, ever, ever a random pivot. There's never a random pivot. Everything is rejecting for a reason, okay? And I'll actually show you something really, really, really interesting. Uh, it, well, interesting if you love trading as much as me. Um, <laughs> this is obviously our higher term time frame parallel channel now, and we've seen the rejections off of this really beautifully. Okay, once again, you know, we rejected off it really beautifully. I want to show you something that was really perfect, okay? So when we actually got that pullback on the 5th of a, or 5th of August. Let me show you this from the 5th of August. I posted this in the group when I was doing this trading. The 5th of August. Yeah, there you go. So I noted in the early in the day. So this would have been a post from um, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. I told my team, you know, the WPOC is the intraday key support level. That was 22,800. Let me show you this. Okay. So I posted that while we're here at around 10 a.m. That the 22,800 is the key support. You can see that we came down 22,750. We found support for the bounce. I want to show you what we had there. We obviously had that WPOC, which I told my team is the key support. In confluence, I want to show you this because it's absolutely beautiful. In confluence with this Fibonacci pool, from the low up to the high, look at the CC that we bounced off of. CC bounced off of, 
And then look at this. Back up to the 1618, look at that absolute perfection. That is what you call confluence. So then we have absolutely gone from the CC support absolute perfectly on that weekly, weekly point of control there up to the 1618, which was perfect confluence with the range high. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> it's pretty special. That's pretty special. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that absolutely made my day. But you can see here, when we hit that range high, you know, wicks onto it, rejection, wicks onto it, rejection, wicks onto it, rejection, wicks onto it, rejection. And now you want to see something even, well, you know, another another thing that we're, why you rejected it. Never a random pivot, ladies and gentlemen. Fibonacci from high to low. Okay, you can see, well, obviously we can pull it up slightly different because we have that lower wick in the end, sorry. But when you pull from high to low into the CC rejection, Okay, and you can see how you come down to your first fib level, support bounce, support bounce, and then, yeah, again, here you're down to around the single print rows. But again, that Fibonacci really, you know, kind of helping out there. Um, yeah, with, with this major low here, obviously it did reject in the end off of, off of this high, and now, and now we're pulling back here. So, um, you know, if it's not kind of obvious for, for me personally, I have not longed the top of those single prints. I am personally not longing, I was not longing earlier this morning, I'm still not longing now, and I am still waiting for lower prices. Okay, so what would be my invalidation of this? Well, if we actually find support, maybe change the market structure, get acceptance back into this range value area low, this would all be for me some sort of sign of strength. At the moment, I am really simply trading the charts. Yes, I can have biases. Yes, I can have opinions. But at the end of the day, I'm not actually trading off of my opinion. I'm not trading off of my wants. I'm trading off of what is happening on the chart. Right now, all I see on the chart is weakness. Right now, all I see on the chart is you know, a loss of support. Um, and yeah, that's what I got to trade at the end of the day. Although I might be thinking to myself, hey, this is nice support. Let's see if we hold. You know, like for example, last night I was thinking to myself, you know, if we come down to this support, it's a potential long. But then actually seeing the reaction, seeing there's no strong conviction, well, I am not going to long that and I will wait for lower prices. And once again, that kind of intuition, that feel for the market is obviously played out very nicely as we are getting that drop. I mean, even while we're speaking, we're still dropping more. So, um, yeah, for me, this was a quick update to explain what happened within this range, how, you know, some people are going to complain about choppy random price action, nothing random on this chart. The levels were respected absolutely perfectly. I mean, we even had some really nice posts over on uh, over on um, over on Twitter from Chris. Obviously, met met Chris, but he's like he's saying push it up or down either way. Stacking his money thanks to the CC Pool family feels good to be well into profits on both longs and shorts. Thank you, Daniel, for making the best week of trading of his short trading career, but his best week so far. You know, it's those sort of things short the range high, long the range low, one of those trades is going to get stopped out, trade it to the next level. But I mean, really, that range was was uh, very, very, very special. Indeed, you can see a lot of other people making money on their shorts, making money on their longs. That's what we do with trading the ranges. So um, yeah, that's going to be my final words there. If you want to get another live stream from us today, Igor actually has a live stream today where he's going to be going over all the stock market. Obviously, if you've been paying attention, if you are in the group, you know Igor had that really nice upper target on the stock market. So he'll be giving you an update on that today, uh, as well as everything to do with the stock market and the Forex market. Maybe a little bit of Bitcoin in here as well. <laughs> you can see some cannabis stocks up coming up in here as well. Uh, obviously, he gave you that 30% move to the upside off of his skill sharpness. So yeah, a lot of content from us. If you want to learn the ins and outs of our trading, you can obviously learn all of that over at chartchampions.com over on our website, where once again, I will uh, just remind you all really quickly. And if you are interested in signing up, you can also at the moment be in the chance of winning a free private session with one of our expert coaches. So maybe you'll get that private session with the, with Eagle, maybe uh, if, if you win that prize. But yeah, that's a prize for everybody that's coming over and with a champion existing and new members all eligible for that prize. So um, yeah, that's a final reminder if you want to see more over from our website. And for me, that's a wrap up of the analysis of today. I've talked you through the prior range. I've talked you through the really nice confluences that we had here, why we saw the rejection here, how when we hit support, I knew not to long. I gave you a little bit of a bonus with the CVD. And then I've given you some important levels to the downside and what I'd be looking for, for saying, okay, we've seen support. And that would be if we actually bounce up and reclaim this range value area low, that would be for me the sign of strength where we could then look for the point of control of this value area high and then up to new high 
highs. So again, I'm open to any side of the market. I'm happy to long the market. I'm happy to short the market. I have an underlying bias, but at the end of the day, I have to trade what's actually happening on the charts. Um, that's the only way to make money. Lose the bias, lose the wants, trade what's happening, and well, trust the charts and you know, they, they will treat, treat you well as they did already this morning to me. So thank you ever so much. If you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button and uh, yeah, I'll catch you for more very shortly, everybody. Thank you ever so much. Catch you over in the Discord and that's for me signing out. Of course, no financial advice, all just for entertainment educational purposes only. Thank you, everybody, and have a good one. Cheers and goodbye.